All right, guys, we're gonna to talk to you all about lighting right now. I'm in front of this major, massive light. This is called an estate light by Volt. We're gonna have some links below. But basically, we're gonna take you on a tour from beginning to end right now, all about outdoor lights. Enjoy. and I wanna let you see how many outdoor lights this project has. We're gonna walk you through all of those lights and how cool these are for your outdoor living space. Really think about lights when you're planning your space. Lighting is the key to a beautiful nighttime oasis for you and your friends. So I'm here with Josh of Paradise Restored Landscape. Uh, he is our lighting expert, outdoor lighting expert, and resident genius when it comes to outdoor lighting. He is a little camera shy, so we're gonna do this whole interview via voice. How you doing today, Josh? Pretty good, how about yourself, Micah? Great. When you're thinking lighting, what's the first thing you would want to educate a client on? Well. Typically, I educate the clients on safety first, you know, stairways, pathways, anywhere where heavy foot traffic is going to be taking place, anything with a ledge or a step or anything like that. And then we kind of move into the aspects of up lighting and, you know, kind of highlighting the yard and the landscape and, you know, the houses and stuff like that as well. I don't think that they really think about safety a lot of the times. I mean, you know, there's one out of 10 clients that are like, you know, my mom fell down the stairs and yeah. we need to do something with yeah. this, but typically, there more, oh, I want my house lit up and the trees to look good and all the neighbors to drive by and who and all at it. So yeah, kind of more where that falls. I'll talk a little bit about this outdoor light while it's still light outside. Might be a little hard to see, but I'm gonna show some off camera shots of this light. This is a Volt large, extra large estate light. And I, I basically just wanna highlight it be, to let you see kind of just how important thinking through lights are, your outdoor lighting setup. These are some creative ways that you can really light up an area, especially you have a huge main entrance here. This really casts a lot of light as you're seeing right here. So look at this, this project. We're gonna really kind of take you on a little tour of all of the lighting and the night shots and how well lit up this is. So no matter where you are, no matter where you're going, you're being pulled and being directed by the lights at night. So a little uh, trick there, little key, is yeah, you wanna think through your space, but you wanna really give some thought to your, your night light and, and how you're gonna light up the space. What are some of the best ways to do that, to light up uh, an outdoor living space? So you have your, your covered structures and your houses and stuff like that. It's nice to be able to highlight certain areas, especially if you have two, three story multi-level homes to be able to highlight and accent that. Um, if you've got some nice uh, like focal specimen type trees, those are really nice to light up. Um, you know, putting lighting in ledges and stuff like that around fire pits and, you know, just to kind of create a good ambiance throughout the yard. If you've got, you know, say a couple of windows in the middle and you've got on each side a nice long run of just house, you can put a light on that and it'll shine up in from the ground up into that area and really highlight and kind of frame your window areas and stuff like that. I really like the, the strip lighting. It's super simple to work with. And you know, it's one of those things that really provides a good accent versus just having a little light in the middle. You can highlight multiple runs and it comes in 84 foot rolls. So we can do, you know, massive areas, you know, underneath bars and kitchenettes and stuff like that. And, you know, really be able to highlight some of the, the lesser known and lesser seen aspects of outdoor you know, hardscapes and stuff like that. I want to show you the lighting here that we did at this project. It's a beautiful project. Hard to see right now in the light, but I want to show you, you can kind of see as I turn those lights, you can see the different colors. And I'll even cruise over to this bar underneath all of the steps and in that bar, you can see that we've actually done LED lights underneath the bar, underneath the steps. 
all of that is controlled and I'll try to zoom in here by a smart device so as I touch any of the color spectrum you can see it changes that fast and then it's hard to see here Oop. you can actually turn it up so it's a lot brighter go back and dim it it dims so really really cool feature love to be able to help you out I want to do it in my own landscape because it is so cool all right let me know if you have any questions on that right on the app and just super cool all around changes that fast very good for sports and things like that so with those bistro set up on a, on a transformer they just come on with your typical transformer each evening it comes on and off by itself correct okay and you can set it you can they have little things that you can install that you can actually control those separately it's an inline output type of a converter that will delay or you know you can control the time that those are on because you're not always utilizing the booster lights you know you really want those to be on typically when you're out entertaining and stuff like that whereas your landscape lighting you want that to be focal you know up until a certain point whether it's you know one o'clock in the morning or you're getting up at four so you want to have another start time you know you're walking out to your car in the dark you know that can be dangerous as well so again there's the safety aspect of things so um what about water features I, of course you always want to light up a water feature what's the trick for that See, what I like to do, and a lot of the clients don't like to necessarily put the color in there, but I really like to add the color changing option to that because then you can change the color of your water or the different effects and stuff like that. You know, you can add a little bit of green or a little bit of blue in there to get it look like, you know, maybe it's a like a swimming pool or the water is off the Bahamas or something like that, you know, just to give it kind of a cool accent look to it. Called negative space and what it is is like you, you were just explaining you have a light and then a huge area where there's nothing I like to try and balance things out so you don't come out and look and one half of the yard is lit up and then you've got like one or two lights here and there you want to kind of try and you want to leave a little bit of negative space you don't want it to look like you're in Hollywood or you know going down Rodeo Drive or in Las Vegas or something so you want to have little bits of negative space here and there because it provides a, a different texture to the landscape at nighttime. Uh, I utilize FX on all the projects. Um, their price point is better than a lot of them out there. The the product seems to be a better built, manufactured, you know, type thing. Um, their their controllers they come with all types of varieties of things that you can do, whether it's zoning, dimming, or you can put color changing lights in and stuff like that. So I've really found that FX. I've utilized a lot of other types of brands throughout the industry in the years that I've been doing this and I found that FX is, is my go-to. Uh, I like the NP um, the ZD light because it's got the ability to put three, six, or nine LED in it and so you can really, really highlight really well. If you're trying to do more of a broader area, I would you know try and do something like more of a spotlight, something bigger that gives more of a, a wide array of light. Hope we educated you on outdoor lights, especially on what to light up, 
how to light it up, and all the different specialty lights that you can use. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Talk to you soon.